Hey, it's Chuck here back with Milton Daily Homes, and we have a great day today. Definitely good. Um, so let's get right to the list. I don't like to waste too much time. And it's Friday, so the last thing you want to do is watch a really long video. So the first one up is 1635 Waldy. It's at 399 And so I looked at this. I said detached. I know it's a madame. It's three-bedroom, three-washroom. Um, what model is it? So then I did some detective work and I found out it's this one here. I remember selling 1631 a couple years ago and that's just down the street. So this one here is a Larkin. I believe the square footage is 1505. Double car parking in the driveway. And it's two doors down from James Snow. So you can see all these cars here, all the traffic. It's not going to be quiet in the backyard or in the front of the house. Waldy is a feeder street essentially in off of James Snow. And so the location to me is about a 2 out of 10. It's really not where you want to be, ideally. Um, some people will accept it, but it won't be their first choice. Now, partly finished basement plus the 1,500 square feet. It looks like it's a good size finished basement here, 1742 by 15. Uh, oak hardwood flooring. It looks like they've uh, they put some more insulation up in the attic because in this phase, they weren't that generous with insulation. There's some good things about this phase. You get a little bit more land, but they weren't that good at insulating. So this one here, I don't know. I feel like this the size is definitely going to limit their potential for selling. And I think that being on the busy street is going to do the same. Um, really, there's an 1820 square foot home on Clark that sold... Uh, you know, in the 380s. So this one, uh, I guess the total square footage is, is the same, but at 399, they may just be missing it a little bit too high. Now, Trudeau uh, was my Chuck pick last week when it came out. And so it came out and then it fell apart. And I normally don't profile twice, but I think it's such a good deal that I want to show you again. So it's a double car garage. It's between 23, 2400 square feet, cost court built, all brick. And it's on a 52 by 100 foot lot, a corner lot. And I believe it has some influence. It's right down by uh, by Louis Saint Laurent. It doesn't matter to me. I still think this one has a ton of potential. I think you can change the cabinets there. You can put some hardwood floors in. Still come in under budget and be awesome. And you've got a nice private view in the back. Uh, big fan of this one. Huge. 450. You can't go wrong. So go jump on this one. Something fell apart. I hope it wasn't f home inspection. Probably not, though, because it's not that old. Uh, it probably was something to do with financing. So go check that one out. Pringle is at 4549. It's a four bedroom, three washroom, 34 by 88 foot lot, but it has a double garage. So 20 feet of that 34 is going to be garage couple feet on either side plus you got this sort of narrow area where you get into the home now it's a madme home what i love about this one is it's a walkout basement uh it says premium lot i don't know what the premium's for because it's a standard size but it could be for the walkout i don't know movable island there's pot lights um it looks like there's a park that's going to be somewhere close by to it nine foot ceilings fireplace it's at least two thousand square feet and this one looks like a really hot deal, really cool stuff, double garage, four bedrooms, all that stuff. The walkout when you finish the basement would be unreal. So definitely check this one out. The price is awesome as well. Now Guelph Line is $4.59, and it's sort of a late 70s, early 80s design, double car garage. You come in, it's a great appearance. I've seen this one in person. It's a realist. Uh, it's, right, it's just over an acre of the property. Nice cabinets here. They've done some renos in this whole house, uh, wainscoting, all the rest of it. Beautiful stuff. Even downstairs, huge family room, big rooms down in the basement. It's a split level. And even those floors don't look that bad in person, okay? So even this, not too bad at all. Now, the big concern with this one, the thing that people really find not ideal, over here, there's a chain link fence, and it's the driveway into the park, which is right next door to it. And so there's virtually no privacy. The tree coverage is minimal. And even though it's a great size piece of land, it just doesn't have the privacy that people look for in the country. Now at 459, I definitely think they price this one well. If they can find someone who can live with a little less privacy there, they're gonna have a very good home, good location, easy to get on the highway, oil, heat, drilled well, and septic. So this is a good listing. I like this one a lot. It's in fantastic shape. So fourth line is at 489. 
And, you know, it's a decent looking kitchen and everything is kind of put together well. You've got iron pickets on the stairs, pot lights in the master bedroom. Fourth line can be a bit of a problem sometimes, but it's a four bedroom, three washroom. January 14th, 2011 is their possession. It's uh, under 2,500 square feet. I don't know what the square footage is. Up, upstairs laundry and you've got some uh, just nice stuff like California shutters. I think at 49, they've taken the location into consideration and it doesn't look too bad. I think this one has, has a legitimate shot here. I think anything under 500 for that size double garage with those upgrades, they, they, they might have a chance. So Roper is at 529. The last time this was listed, it was pretty much hideous pictures, way too much clutter in the house. I don't know what they've done with this new listing here, if they've decided to really declutter and make it look nice. Um, you know, Roper is, uh, you'll hear some of the highway noise. It's basically right up in the top quadrant uh, north of Main Street. And you can see from some parts of Roper, you can see the off-ramp from the 401. So, yeah, it, it's under 2,500 square feet. I mean, you've got a lot of stuff. I would take Trudeau over this. I would take the, the previous listing on fourth line even for 30000 cheaper. Um yeah, I just, I don't know about this one. It depends on how it's staged, really. There are some nice upgrades underneath all that stuff, but it's hard to see past. So if it's 571.9, and they've dropped the price on this one here. Uh, nice hardwood floors, okay? Good everything in here. The kitchen, they take some new pictures, and I think it's a it's a marked improvement. Uh, nice looking en suite, and lots of space in here. We're talking about over 3,000 square feet. Um, and it's a decent street, and I think that this one definitely is good. No air conditioning, so you want to budget that, budget that in. And uh, But the nine-foot ceilings, this one's going to be a big one. Probably one of the biggest homes for that price range. Uh, Inglis is the next one out in Campbellville, north of the 401. Actually, I guess this one might even be uh, sort of Brookville. But anyways, it's... Uh, it's $9.99. It's a triple car garage. Nice Georgian look on the outside. Beautiful, like high, you know, stonework on the on the fireplace there. It's a great looking home. It's beautiful. The kitchen. I don't know if the kitchen will be big enough for a million dollar buyer, but it's uh, it's definitely got a lot to offer. It looks like there's an above ground pool uh, that's salt water. So I, again, above ground, it would depend how it's done. If there's a lot of deck work around it. Um, typically people buying million dollars don't want above ground, they want below ground. So anyhow, I think they did a good job pricing that one. And that's our list for today. So if uh, you have any questions, feel free to reach out and get in touch. Um, and we will see you next week with another episode of Milton Daily Homes. Okay, take care. Bye.